Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import some external audio samples into Sonic Pi. So if you are familiar with Sonic Pi, you know one of the ways we can play around with sound is the sample function. And when you use the sample function, you get this drop down menu, which gives you all these uh, audio files, which are loaded into Sonic Pi already. Now, there is also an option, though, that you can take external audio files, so files that are not a part of the Sonic Pi sample library, and load them into a Sonic Pi buffer, and through that you can access them and play them in your Sonic Pi code. So, the way to do that is here I have some different audio files here. Now, one important thing I should say is that when working with samples in Sonic Pi, um, here's the external samples uh, documentation in the tutorial, but you can use these types of files here. So uh, you cannot use MP3, which is an important thing to just keep in mind. But WAV files, AIFF files, OGG, OGA, and FLAC files are all usable. So here I have some AIFF files, and I'm going to take this drum break here. All right. Now, the way it works is I need to give Sonic Pi the path of this file, okay, which you can see right here. Um, so it basically what we're going to do is provide Sonic Pi with a path to locate the file on our machine and then it can access it through that path and then play it in the buffer. Now the easiest way to do that, and I'm going to get rid of the sample here first, is to find the file in uh, a finder uh, window and you can take it and just click it and drag it into Sonic Pi IDE and it will just give you that path to the file as a string. So here you see this is through the different directories that Sonic Pi has to go to in order to get this file. So the users into admin, into the music folder, into the samples folder, to the refusion folder, and then it gets us here. Now I could just do sample and then that path and run it. And there you see I am able to run that in Sonic Pi. Now a much easier way to do this, um, if we want to use this in multiple places, is I'm going to give a, oh, looks like something was on there, so maybe we'll call this break, okay. Um, so I'm going to call this break, uh, I'm going to give it a variable name, and now this variable break is holding this string, which is a path to that specific audio file. So now I can do sample break, and it allows me to play it that way. Um, and now I can use all the sample related things that go with it. So I could do sample duration break, and then I could put this in the live loop. So, uh, be like that. Run this there, and then I'll... And that's really all there is to it. So I could change the rate, I could change the pitch, I could use all the different sample function options uh, that are available, uh, of which I do have uh, another tutorial you could check out uh, if you are unfamiliar with that. So one other thing I want to show you is how to also import a folder of audio files. So instead of me having to import say like eight different files from the same folder, I can just import the folder and then there is a way I can access each file in there. So I'm going to go to a different folder I have here in 
directory, which is some Zoom files. And here I have some a folder here called Xylophone Notes. So here I'm just going to drag this whole folder into Sonic Pi, and I'm just going to call this Notes. And so now I've created a variable for this notes here. I'm going to comment this out for a moment here. And so now what I can do is I'm going to do sample notes and then comma, and then I'm going to give a index number. So uh, this is just in reference to which file or yes, which file in the folder I'm referring to. So if I do zero, that would be referring to the first file in this xylophone notes folder and if i run it okay it gives me that sound but now if i do one it gives me the next file and the next file and so on like that so i believe there are eight files in this specific folder so i could do like an eight dot times do and then make a counter and here I'm just going to put I, and then I could do sleep for one, and then end, and this will actually go through all the different files one at a time. And so that is how you are able to access files. Now this could be helpful if you have a folder full of different like drum loops or other kind of loops that you want to use and you maybe want to switch them out here and there. Um, in the case of the one I'm using here I could use all these different samples and maybe make a uh, like a melody or something. So I'm going to do a random range between 0 and 8. And uh, I'm going to turn this into a live loop as well, just to kind of play around with it for a moment and work with what I've got. So I'm just going to call this X. I'm going to sync it with this R loop that I did here. And uh, let's see what we get uh, as well. I'm also, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to beat stretch this to two and then I can just sleep for two. about it so there's so much you can do with this and this gives you so many more options in terms of what kind of sounds you can bring in to Sonic Pi so you don't have to just rely on the included audio files you can now import any sound uh, that is an audio file that works in Sonic Pi and that includes sounds that you recorded yourself or that you sampled off of other material or downloaded uh, off the internet so hopefully you're able to have a lot of fun with this, and that is it.